welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell, and this is your Intuitive Message for today, Friday, June 19th, 2015, as well as tomorrow, June 20th, Saturday, 2015. As always, thank you so much. So usually I say, oh, it's a fun, simple message, but today's a difficult one for me in the sense of I really had to sit with spirit because it's a song lyric from Sarah McLaughlin, um, and it's from the song Forgiveness. And I use it in body uh, flow that I teach. And every time I come around to using this release, uh, this song, this lyric just sticks in my head. And it, the lyric is, because you don't know much about heaven, boy, if you have to hurt to feel. So you don't know much about heaven if you have to hurt to feel. And it's like that lyric just keeps going over and over in my head. So in my quiet time, I was asking Spirit about, you know, what this is for me to learn. And, and, and I, can't, I literally asked three times, I said, am I supposed to be sharing this today? But I know someone really, really needs to hear this today. And I said, you know, what do I share from my heart, from my life, from my personal experience? And, you know, every once in a while, and I've shared this and, and privately I do with people, but every once in a while I just feel like an overwhelming sense of sadness. And I oftentimes know beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's not my sadness, it's just a sadness in the world. And, you know, years ago, before therapy and all this stuff, I would try to run from it, push it down, ignore it. But now I literally, it's almost like I would try to reach out to it and give it a big hug. And I found when I do that, I, I realize I'm feeling sadness, but I'm not sad. And that may sound weird, but I, you know, because I try to listen to what I say and put it into practice. And you know, I say, embrace your emotions, walk through them, let it wash over you. Realize you need to experience them all. So I and and I tell you, it's it's uncomfortable. And and to put this into play, you know. I think about heaven and what that represents for me in my life and, and, and I feel like for me that represents being not in the physical body, outside the physical body, back in energy, back in spirit. So, you, I, and I think also there's a component of this life that we live in that is part of heaven. So I don't think we have to hurt to feel, but I think it's important that we do feel every emotion, even the ones that typically hurt us or are hurtful. And I was trying to get Spirit to show me an example. And it's like if you have a child or you see someone who's going through a breakup, but you know the you know the breakup is probably the best thing because the relationship was not good, volatile, abusive, whatever. And you, you, you're able to hug that person and feel their pain, but you're able to walk away and go, boy, it's about time that happened. And it's like almost like there's a logical component of this needed to happen to get them to the next level. But you felt a little bit of their pain. That's what I feel like I've been going through every once in a while where I am experiencing the sadness or the pain, but I let it wash over me and walk on to the next thing. So I hope that makes sense. I hope this hits somebody head on because I really feel like it was supposed to. So there you go. Quickly, today's energy, number 19, that's our sun card, that's bright, that's beautiful, that's strong. It's also 10, which is wheel, the continuing, moving, going, you know, lots of options, and one, magician, everything you need within you, which is also masculine, a dynamic, independent, and then all the numbers add up to six, which is about that family, divorce, organ, um, uh, work issues, uh, responsibility, service-oriented kind of stuff, and then the Lenormand to go along with it is the number seven, which is snake. This can be about deceptive things, deceptive people. You know, be cautious, be careful. And again, this even the hurting can be deceptive of what you're truly trying to get. So I always try to apply the cards back to what the message, because I think spirit lines them all up. So to go along with that, from Tara is the nine of coins. So <clears throat> this is in and around the home, your money, your resources, your finances. So be careful of any deception, lies, deceit that might happen in and around the home and or your business, your abilities, your talents, your money. Um, but I really feel like this is more about in and around the home. So watch those lies and deceptions. I'm hearing step back and watch it unfold and the, they will bite their own tail or end up getting caught in their own lies and realize and move forward stronger, stronger than if you point it out and reprimand. And now that sounds weird. sounds very passive. Tomorrow, number 20. 20 is that um, the judgment card being freed from the things holding you back. It's also number two, our high priestess, number two, that harmony, unity. Um, it's also number seven, which is analytical, metaphysical, science, wisdom, spiritual focus. And Lenormand for Tamar is going to be the cloud, which is number six. And I love that the numbers are reversed. So today we had seven for a six day. Tomorrow we have six for a seven day. So again, these numbers and days feel like they're overlapping. Clouds, what's covering, what's not seen, what's hidden, the lies, the deceit could be part of it, the hurting to feel and then terror to go.
go along with it seven of coins so two cards of coins and we're actually moving you know backwards as well so this is our abundance may be cloudy um, this may be we're not seeing the full aspect of it this may be the rainstorms are keeping us from seeing the beautiful sun which is behind there which can affect our abundance so again this is just believing the clouds can often be the fact that we don't have what we want and what we need and we desire because we're looking at the wrong thing. We're focusing on the clouds and not realizing behind the clouds is the sun, which is the abundance, which is all that is there. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Namaste. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.